Well, as I sit down here today on my comfy leather couch, it's November 11th to 42 p.m. It's a Sunday, and I'm sitting down to talk about October. Obviously, it's something that I've been doing and would have to get to sooner or later, so why not sooner? I think probably December will be the last month that I do an update for like this. So that leaves, I guess, two more, uh, if you were to include this one, uh, three more. So one for October, one for November, and one for December. And the reason for that, I think, has been somewhat hinted at or becoming clearer, becoming more obvious to those who have been listening in on these updates. Uh, I don't know if they've been the most engaging or most entertaining. I've somewhat enjoyed doing them and they've been good for me to kind of look back upon each month and see kind of where my thought processes were. And at times (laughs) I have to admit that I'm not sure if anyone was really able to uh, kind of understand where I was coming from or, well, maybe that's not true. I, I think I'm making some assumptions there, but you know, my mind goes in various directions and has been going in various directions, probably because of the various changes that, that have been taking place in my life. And sort of over this last year and a half or so, I've kind of been trying to wrap up some of my pet projects, with, which would include things like the the podcast, which I have been like very serious about in a way but I think it's meant to be one of those things that's enjoyable and fun and it isn't all about business and making money and I think I got kind of caught up with that well well, you know what are the possibilities with the podcast how can I monetize it how can I make money from it how is it going to you know how am I going to drive traffic to it and all that kind of stuff and at the end of the day you know I had time to build the website but I did not have time to build a market I did not have time to promote a whole lot and I tried to do what I could with Facebook and link building and building relationships with other you know experts in the music industry which has been tremendously valuable and I think has led to some great episodes and some great content. And so I don't feel bad about kind of, you know, letting go of the podcast for a while. And, you know, this is something that I'm sure will be covered in in more detail, maybe episode 35, 36, 37, somewhere in there, I think is kind of going to be, you know, the end of an era, so to speak, for me because I'm I'm trying to take kind of this next month or two, November and December, to wrap up some of the projects that I have been been working on and toiling away on. And the reality is just that I probably have too many of them, and that's why it's hard to focus on on any one of them because you know you can get caught off, uh, easy to get distracted, I guess you know, get taken away from doing one project and all of a sudden you're working on another one and none of them see kind of any end in sight because they're supposed to be ongoing and regularly updated projects and some of them clearly, you know, have updated regularly and continue to do that. Meanwhile, others have suffered as a result and weren't updated quite as much. So, you know, kind of right now I'm building towards that somewhat finalized or finished form of the website of the podcast of of everything kind of associated with it you know so that when people go looking for it and they find it even a year two three years down the line that it's still going to be a valuable and, and relevant resource for musicians I feel like that's perhaps one of my life works has been to not you know not only be uh, a good resource for musicians, but also to be a musician my, for myself so I could go through that experience. Because I don't think you can really talk about being in the music industry or what musicians should do if, if you personally have no experience doing it. And unfortunately, I think there are certain sources online. There are some people, some bloggers, some marketers that you know are maybe very good at developing a product but the reality is they've never performed a show in their life or they've never picked up an instrument and those are the sources that 
I, I honestly think prove to be less valuable, even though they might have some good things to say and they might be able to steer you to a couple of resources or a couple of good ideas. At the end of the day, they don't really understand or know what it's like to be a musician because you have to have a musician's temperament, I think, to, to kind of know what that looks like. So, you know, as I begin you know, begin to wrap up, I guess, this, you know, three, four year saga of, of what the podcast has been. And, and again, it's perhaps not permanent, but I'll, I'll talk more about that later is, you know, really making sure that the site is a stable place. It is got, you know, a lot of the content and a lot of the good stuff that I think I, and good ideas that I think that I have to offer, to musicians and the music industry at large and just make it kind of a, a, a complete product for now. You know, I think websites are always works in progress. They're never necessarily finished, but creating something that, you know, people again can go to be a great resource and access, you know, all that stuff very readily and quickly. So that's what I'm kind of working towards right now. Of course, October is the month that I moved, so that was filled with all kinds of emotion up front. And I say up front because since then I haven't experienced anything quite as intense. But I think the, the days that I spent moving and perhaps if, give or take a few days before and after were all kind of intense moments for me. And, you know, tear jerkers, um, you know, don't you know, feel, feel the need to necessarily sympathize, but, uh, you know, it was a house that I lived in for, for nine years. So that plays a part. There's obviously a lot of memories and, and honestly, it's, you know, a good chunk of my twenties were spent there with, with some of my, you know, best friends at the time. And it was also my studio environment. So that's something that kind of had to take down and tear down and, and move. I still have all the gear, but I don't necessarily have the room to set it up in my new basement suite. So, uh, you know, I'm, I may not. <laughs> and that's one, another one of those things that I'm kind of working on right now. But I, I'm probably going to be cutting down on some of my recording commitments for now. I, I can I'd imagine there might be a little a few more music projects that I'll be working on, you know, over the over the longer term. And, uh, you know, I'll have some stuff available to me, but I'm, I'm probably not going to be setting up well it's it's hard to say i think you know some of the the work that i do in the business that i work with could potentially uh you know mean the opening of a new studio or a new location or something like that in the near future it's just for now that i think i'm I'm kind of cutting back on on a lot of commitments and i think the studio was another one of those things that was kind of a, a pet project and, and again having probably entirely too many things to do is is I don't think it's really my main focus right now but that doesn't mean that I won't continue to contribute to inside home recording it doesn't mean that I don't have more to talk about or more to offer in that area and it doesn't mean that uh, music will be completely cut out of my life I in fact I highly doubt that I'll probably be coming back to music in a more determined and, and significant way a couple of years down the line. It will just be for a, a period of time that I am trying to streamline my life so that I have greater focus on the things that are important. And so one of the things I've been doing is I've kind of been chronicling some of what's been going on and, and kind of doing my final wind down of you know posts and releases and thoughts on Google Plus and also just been giving away some ideas that I've had all along but just not the time or the money to execute and that's you know I, I think it just comes down to if you don't have the time or the money to execute an idea it can you can run the risk of it just being kind of uh, mental uh, mental clutter so I, I think it's just it's it's valuable to give away a lot of ideas that you have, and that's something that I've begun doing a little bit. Um, some people will say you should protect all of your ideas, and I understand that. And there are definitely circumstances where 
where that is the case. But in, in this case, I feel somewhat comfortable in, in, in kind of knowing that somebody else could really take it and run with it and make something of it, you know, rather than something that's going to sit in the back burner or, you know, kind of be sitting in a notebook somewhere in my in my house. It could be something that somebody takes and runs with and and does something cool with it. And so I know you think I'm probably crazy, but I, I've recently begun kind of getting excited about Google Plus more so than Facebook or some of the other social media platforms. And there are reasons for this. And I, and I did post some of those reasons on, on the Google Plus page of mine. I also might be putting together blog posts about that with a little more detail. However, you know, for now you can kind of get some regular updates from me on Google Plus just to see my progress, to see what's going on, to see what I'm what I'm doing and what I'm kind of trying to wind down in my life so that I'm, you know, prepared to to move on to accomplish some of the current goals that I have. So, you know, there's let's just say there's probably two or three projects in my life that are of the most paramount importance. They they are not just things to be taken lightly, but rather, you know, it, it's time to give up some of the good for, for what is great in my life. And so that's what I'm working on.